Peter had recently confessed, and James and John agreed, that Jesus was indeed the Messiah. They imagined the Messiah as a king who would destroy their enemies and establish his kingdom. But it was neither the time nor the place for that kind of conquest. So Jesus began showing his disciples a very different part of God's salvation plan. How he would be taken to the city, not to be crowned king, but to suffer and die. Such distressing news left them confused and disheartened as they followed Jesus up the mountain to pray. When prayer was needed the most, the disciples felt too discouraged to pray and fell asleep instead. Perhaps to dream of the perfect kingdom that now seemed out of reach. They did not understand that without the shedding of his blood, there would be no forgiveness of sins. And without forgiveness, the deadly curse of sin and eternal death would continue to rule. They did not understand, so they slept. A moment later, their dreams were interrupted, and they awoke to a much greater vision. Jesus was standing before them with a brightness as brilliant as the sun itself. His clothes glowed the brightest white imaginable. On either side of Jesus stood Moses, the great lawgiver, and Elijah, the great prophet, and they were all talking together. The disciples were astounded and amazed that they were in the presence of Moses, whom God knew face to face, and Elijah, who had once called God's fire down from heaven. When Moses and Elijah were about to leave, Peter exclaimed to Jesus, Don't leave. Let us build three tents, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He didn't really know what he was saying. He just wanted the glory of this moment to last forever. But as the words left Peter's mouth, he was interrupted by the voice of God. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Hear him. Jesus was not just another prophet or teacher. He was the very son of God. Hear him, the father said. The disciples fell with their faces to the ground in fear. God had spoken directly to them. Jesus stepped over to the disciples and gently touched them. Stand and do not be afraid, he said. They looked up to see that Jesus was now standing alone, his glory once again covered in humanity. Do not tell anyone about this until after the resurrection, he cautioned them. They would soon see their Messiah suffer and die, but by the power of his resurrection, they would also witness the kingdom of God breaking into human history.